Yo guys, welcome back to another video, and today we have a Forza Horizon 3 video, and we are going to be building a sleeper car. Now, if you don't know what a sleeper car is, don't worry, I'll explain it. So, a sleeper car is essentially a car that looks just like a normal car, but it has a massive engine in it, and it can go really, really fast. But from the outside, it just looks like it's stock, no body mods on it or anything. It's literally just engine upgraded. So we need to find a perfect sleep car, something where you can put a V8 or something in it. So I, I, I'm feeling something like a Ford. I don't know. Few inches later. Maybe this Ford Falcon XR8. I'm thinking this. Maybe this could be good. You don't get any of these in the UK. Look, this Falcon is actually really, really nice. So we're just going to go with manufacture colours. That blue, oh, that blue is so nice. That yellow is alright as well, but I'm going to go for that blue at the moment. That blue, what are you saying, lads? That blue is amazing. When you get so hyped over a colour, blimey. So we can engine swap this car, so let's see what we can put in it. We've got the stock one, we've got the 8.4 litre V10, and we have a 6.5 litre V12. I'm going to put the V12 in for now, and I think I'm going to do something here. Twin turbo it as well. So we can't do anything like this, put a spoiler on it, because then it won't look... Actually, what if you take that off? Now, we'll leave that on, but we can't do anything like this to it. That's, that's quite cool, though. So I wish they changed that Forza bumper or just add multiple variations of it. Like, it gets me so annoyed. Like, upgrading this, I would never think, oh, let's just put that on it. Just no. So now we're just going to upgrade everything, like the intake and everything on the car now, just to make it... A lot faster. Can we get to top of S1? That's what I'm wondering at this moment of time. We've got it to S1 now, but it's right at the bottom. Can we do anything else here? There's a lot. Actually, I think my, I'm keeping stop brakes there. I just want to see what's like. Look, you can lower that a lot, actually. Okay, so it's S1 class. I've got 13 items in the basket. It's going to cost 78,000 to upgrade it, but install this amazing sleep car and hopefully it is amazing actually like i hope it is i hope it's not rubbish okay so if you saw this ford falcon in real life so if you just walk in you would not think that that car there has a v12 in it it just doesn't look possible but it has got a v12 in it that's why it is a sleep car because it just looks normal but it isn't like, if you saw bugatti you know it's got a very very big and fast engine or engines in it so you know it's a fast car but it's just seen a ford like this you, you wouldn't think that has a v12 in it not at all there's a v12 engine right under here okay so let's try this ford falcon out just accelerate straight away still rear wheel drive that's okay yes yes this isn't this isn't bad braking could be a bit of an issue though Okay, so I'm taking it to the airstrip, and we're going to see how fast this does actually go. Here we go. At the airstrip, straight away in first. Let's see how quick this can go. Maybe just over 200 mile an hour, hopefully. Then again, it is a V12, so may we be able to push some more out of it. What well, is going foggy. It's going foggy now, lads. Look at that. It's all foggy. But we're getting to 220 right now in this Ford. 2, 230, 240, can we get 250, 250 maybe, 250, yes, 253 I've seen there, let's go for a mad jump, oh wow, that's right, great, look, the map's glitching, we're going that far, what a jump, crazy, we basically landed it as well, so our sleeper car can go 253 miles an hour, which is pretty cool, now we need to do a race, okay, so I'll set up a championship instead, so, We'll do one race out of this and then we'll end the video, otherwise we'll be here all day. But let's come on, V12 Ford Falcon. It's on anything goes, so there's a mixture of every car. Like, we've got an i8 right here, got some other stuff. It's going to be crazy, but I don't know what difficulty I'm playing on, actually. I think it's fairly easy from the Falls of On events. So I could just get them done, but I'm not too sure. Ah, yeah. We need to break a bit earlier there, really. That didn't go too well. Oh, there's an SLS here. Get around the SLS. Very nice. Uh, into first there. First is a bit of an issue. Like, we just need a straight bit of road. Why is he breaking then? Get a little drift there. 
Could this be a drift car? I don't know. Maybe that'll be next video. Building a drift sleeper car. That could be a thing. We've got four laps to do. That is mad. Four laps of this track and it's in the rain. Get some speed through here. Oh, I break too late again. I've got ABS off as well, which means I can't break and turn. So it's just... It's just bad, really. It's just awful now. I'm going to fly down this section. This bit's quite long. And I've not got my minimap turned on either. Oh, why did I do that? 167 there. Oh, the brakes. You, you see, I'm putting it in reverse. There's an SLS in front. It's not, it's not too good nowadays. The braking is a bit of an issue on this car. We left them stock. To make it look more like a sleeper. And that was a bit of an issue. Like we've put a V12 in it. So it can go 260 something miles an hour. No 253 mile an hour. And it's got the stock brakes on it. That's just a bad idea. But we're on our second lap. We're coming up to our third lap very soon. So I reckon we can win this race. Oh I remember here. There's my skid marks from the lap before. Why is it in the wet? It's just got less traction and grip now. So when I break, I just slide everywhere. Can we get to 170 along here now? That'd be nice, 170. I know I'll end up crashing into the wall, but... Oh well, 170, 170, one, yeah, yeah, we can. 180, actually. 187. Look at all that braking. My brakes would be on fire. Like, why aren't they glowing orange like they usually do on cars? I don't know, maybe because they're not... Uh, upgraded. We're leaving all the driver tours for dead now. Literally, where have they gone? Crashing for a sign though. It's a bit messy, this track. What? What? So I hit a wall, like, my wing hits a wall, like the front wing of the car, and it makes me go proper slow. That is just how it works. But at least the rain's dried up, I've just noticed. The rain has dried up. We're on a nice dry tarmac surface. Here's my skid marks, right, remember to, to turn, yeah, you see, I need to change it. Come on, first. <coughs> I had to sneeze there, I do apologise. Imagine if I lost a race because I sneezed. Oh, uh, was that a wall top? Yes, drift top, just the top. How fast can we get up here, how fast, how fast, how fast? Not as fast as last time, don't think, oh god. 170 something, look at the braking, what? Look at that for braking. Gotta go slow around here and accelerate. So you put all that power down. Those rear wheels are spinning. It's got a V12 to handle. Fly along here. Fly along here. Yes. We're on our last lap now. I think the Ford Falcon sleeper car with a V12 in it is going to win. Uh, oh, just hit the wall. It's okay. Um, I don't know what I was doing there, I just held the e-brake down a bit. Now I'll fly down here. Fly down here. I don't want to crash into this wall up here. I'm going to be careful of that when braking. Brake there. There we go. Very nice. And the finish line. Oh, it's not up here. It's on the next turn. I thought it was literally right there. The last checkpoint of the race. And I think it's going to be a win for us. There's no one else there. Crazy. They just came around there. The Ford Falcon sleeper car did win with a V12 in it. And it's got a twin turbo in it as well, I think. So that is... Well, that's a very good car. That's an extremely quick car. Got 18,000 credits. That's not too bad. How much XP have we got? 15,000. That's not bad either. Five minutes racing. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I might do more sleeper builds as they are quite fun to do. This was my first one. Next time I might do a drift drift car sleeper build. Could try that one out. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're only around here for daily Forza Horizon free videos. But until next time, peace out.